so I know I've shown you a lot of uh, JN, James Nelligan guitars, and um, you're probably sick of hearing about them, but this is the Ezra series, uh, and the um, they're often just E, uh, Z, R, and this is the E, Z, R, D. Uh, I did have a J, which is a jumbo, but somebody just had to have it, so that one left the house yesterday. But um, these look a lot like the sort of... Um, 30s style guitars that a lot of companies are putting out, namely the uh, the Lore Recording King. You see a lot of this, Washburn does them as well. It's this sort of matte, uh, very deep 1930s style uh, finish with the mahogany back and sides. This actually is solid cedar on the top, which is why uh, what you heard was really warm um, and deep. Uh, I'm really impressed with these guitars. I think these blow the doors off of the Recording King guitars uh, of this style. Um, so again, I think James Nelligan has come up with a winner. I like the fact that it's just got the side dots and the one 12th fret dot, uh, or sorry, 12th fret design. Uh, very nice uh, tuners on this, and I like the JN logo on there, very simple. Uh, very nice mahogany in the back, uh, and you can see the grain through the uh, through the top, uh, through the finish. Uh, so it's not a thick um, top coat on this. It's very thin, um, of course, with cream binding throughout. But these are really, really nice. So I wanted to do a quick video on it. Great guitars. Uh, Really impressed by them. These go, I think, anywhere between. Sometimes that you can find them on Amazon as low as like 180, 200, but um, the regular price on these is more like 350, 400. So they're not cheap guitars, but they're really nice. They're well made. The jumbo, I wish I could have shown you, was really, really nice. It's like a mini jumbo uh, auditorium style mm -hmm. guitar or a grand concert. Uh, this is the dreadnought slope shoulder. Um, I'm not a big sunburst person, but if I had to have a sunburst, it would be uh, this sort of uh, matte uh, satin type finish. Uh, I think these are nice. They sound great. Uh, they play well. Out of the box, I had to do very little setup. Uh, it's another winner from uh, James Nelligan. So I just wanted to put that on your radar. I'm not seeing a whole lot of people talking about these, and I don't know why they're not more popular. Um, these are some of the best guitars I found in this price range. Uh, I've now shown you the Yakisugi or the Yak series, the Ezra series, and the Line, the Lin, the Line series. Um, all three series are solid top guitars, um, excellent finishes, good performance, well made, uh, way better than the parent company Stag. Anything by them, I don't even um, pick up Stags anymore when I find them. Most of them are fairly poor. But this line that's uh, made by Stag, the James Nelligan line, uh, has really come to the fore, and uh, I'm very impressed by them. So I want to do a quick video and show you this particular model before it goes away. All right, see you next time.